Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quentin here and welcome to tutorial number 43 and in this tutorial I'm going to explain get and post to you just like I said I would in the previous video. Okay, so let's get started with uh, get, okay, because right now we are actually already using get as our method. Okay, now you'll notice that uh, whenever I go over to my browser and I type in my name over here and click submit, uh, what happens is I send the data through as part of the get method. Now whenever you send data through using the uh, get method, you actually send it through part of the URL. Now you'll notice um, it's not actually here and that is because whenever you're working with form data you must never forget to put in an attribute called name and that is something I forgot to do in the previous video okay so I need to give a name to this input element so that uh, PHP or HTML knows how to identify the value that was passed through in this uh, this input element okay so let's go ahead and give this a name of name uh, because we're typing in the user's name okay and you could name this anything you want you could also name it username or whatever you want but I'm calling mine name okay and uh, basically now let's go back to Firefox and uh, click refresh over here type in my name again so Quinton and when I click submit you can see I now have in my URL name is equal to name okay and this is uh, basically where it gets these values from uh, Quinton was what I typed in over here in my input uh, text box and name was the actual name we gave to our input elements so just for interest sake, let's change this to username is equal to uh, name is equal to username. And when I go back here, uh, let's click refresh on this. Just type in my name again, so Quinton. And when I click OK, we've got username is equal to Quinton. Okay, so basically, you pass through the name and also the value of whatever you typed in this input element okay and let's say we had multiple input elements so let's go ahead and copy this line and paste it and instead of sending through name we'll put in surname and we'll change this to surname and let's just change this back to name for uh, like convenience sake I guess that it says name and surname and now when I click refresh over here I've got my two input elements so I can put in uh, Quinton as my name and what as my surname uh, believe it or not that is my surname and when I click refresh I've got name is equal to Quinton and surname is equal to what so that is basically how get sends the data through to your server it actually sends it as part of the URL okay and of course this isn't very secure because if you were using passwords or something like that then you'd land up having a password up in the URL and people would be able to see that and people would be able to bookmark that uh, because you can bookmark uh, well URLs that have um, get uh, data inside of them okay so that's not a good idea if you want to use um, passwords or something so but if you're gonna just use something for a search engine or something like that then using the get method is uh, all right okay so now let's go ahead and look at how to access this data so let's go over to handler.php and we access the data up in that URL by using something called a super global and a super global is basically dollar underscore and then whatever the super global's name is which in this case is get because we are trying to get the data that was sent through as part of the get method um, so it's going to be up in the URL okay 
and then you're going to put in some square brackets and inside of those square brackets uh, you will put in the word name so basically uh, this get super global is actually a URL, um, an array sorry of whatever was put up in the URL okay and it's actually an associative array that's why you're putting a key in here of name so let's say uh, let's create a new variable here and we'll call this name and we'll set that equal to dollar underscore get name so this will basically get your name as a variable and then we'll set uh, dollar surname so we'll create a new variable called surname and we'll set that equal to dollar underscore uh, get and then surname dollar underscore get surname and that will get hold of our surname and just so that we can print it out in the correct place I'm going to put some PHP tags down here and then we'll just say echo um, and we'll start off a string that says your name is and append on the variable name if I can spell it correctly twice in a row that I made a mistake okay and then append on a space and then append on uh, your surname and that should be fine for now so we've got name and surname sent through uh, or collected okay and echoed out so now let's go back to Firefox here and let's type in something so let's type in my brother's name which is Jared and his surname is obviously also what because he is my brother and now we've got the values passed through up here and we've also echoed out your name is Jared what okay so that's pretty cool uh. <laughs> uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at the post method so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to change this to uh, post so just post like that and now when I go ahead and save this and go back to Firefox now um, and let's just type in some value so we'll type in me again uh, my name is Quinton Watt click submit Oop, okay I didn't click refresh so go ahead and click submit and as you can see um, in the URL over here we don't have our uh, pff, variables or our data sent through as part of the URL so this makes a post a lot more secure than get because you're not sending the data through in the URL so it's not where someone can bookmark it or someone can see it very easily uh, it's actually sent through as a uh, like separate HTTP request or something okay so <laughs> uh, basically we now have these two errors over here which say undefined index name and undefined index surname and that's because uh, these variables that we're trying to use over here and over here don't work anymore because we didn't send the values through as part of our get method we're actually using post uh, so a quick fix for this would be to just go ahead and access them using the post super global which would be dollar underscore post and again dollar underscore post and that will grab the data that was sent through uh, via the post method okay so let's go ahead now and click refresh we'll have to resend the data mm, let's see just click refresh here again as well submit okay I uh, realized what I did wrong I when I changed post accidentally deleted one of my square brackets so just go back and put that in click refresh resend and now I've got handling your data your name is Quinton Watt so we actually uh, handle data that was sent through using the post method okay and just a fun fact for you guys I know this video is getting kinda long but if you guys didn't know which method you were using so let's say you were using get or you were using post you didn't actually know what method the other person was using whoever wrote this um, you could then instead of using the, the uh, dollar underscore get or dollar underscore 
post super globals, you could use the dollar underscore request variable or super global. And I did spell request wrong. It's a request, just like that. Okay. And basically, what this is going to do is grab whichever um, method that it was used. Okay. So if it doesn't matter if you use get or post. If you're using the dollar underscore requ request um, super global, then it doesn't actually matter. So let's go ahead and click refresh, and you can see it just works just fine uh, right now. It's saying your name is Quinton Watt. And if we go ahead back here and change this to uh, get, so let's change that to get there, uh, save that again, um, go back to Firefox here. <laughs> and click refresh. Yes, we will resend that. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, see, it still works. Even though I think it's not actually sent. There we go. Now it actually sent it through using get. I was looking in the URL, as you can see. So it still works now uh, because we are, we are getting the data or accessing the data using dollar underscore request. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.